what's the difference between awakening and self-realization? For me, I didn't really understand what they were. I think even when I'd self-realized, I wasn't really sure. Um, but with hindsight, I can see that the awakening is literally awakening. So you are waking up to your true nature with little glimpses. So you get the eye I got um, from Eckhart Tolle, the fact that if I can witness my thoughts, I'm not that voice in my head with the thoughts. So it's like you're awakening to the idea that there's something else there. Um, and the same with the body, if you can witness the body, if there's something observing the body, you're not the body. So it's these things that are awakening, you're waking up to your true nature, you're not getting in the big picture, but there's something that is being revealed, that's the right word. Um, and then with self-realisation, it for me, um, that's instead of looking out into the world, which I've mentioned quite a few times in my video, that's a separate person looking out into the world. You are the world. You realise that there's, you self-realise, you realise who you are. It's a, oh, oh, I'm this. I thought I was that. I thought I was a separate person in the world with everything that was happening to me. And I am the world. I thought it was a separate person looking for presence, looking for peace, looking for happiness. I am happiness. I am peace. I am awareness. So that's not the end. <laughs> I was fairly lucky that I had a lot of bliss after self-realization and no some people don't i did look at all my subconscious beliefs prior to self-realization so that could be the reason i'm not saying there aren't any still some um, subconscious beliefs there but there comes a point that actually you rest as presence and any of those subconscious beliefs can arise and you just think, no, I don't believe them. I know who I am. I'm resting as who I am. And those things can arise and they have no power. The only power they have is if I invest in them, if I give them my attention. So, um, but there seems to be for quite a few people who who self-realise. So all it is, is you're realising who you are. You could, and you everybody already is that, which again I've mentioned in quite a few of my videos. We all are awake. We all are that. We just think we're separate. So for some people, they have self-realisation. They think, oh, that's who I am. But then they still believe in those subconscious beliefs. They still get drawn into them and get caught up and they feel as if they fall asleep. They wake up to their true nature and then they fall asleep. Then they wake up again, oh my goodness, I forgot. I thought, I forgot I was oneness, I was presence, I was awareness. I fell asleep to that. There is no falling asleep to it, it just feels like that. And so it feels like you're a separate person. It feels like you um, are caught up with these beliefs um, that are subconscious because they're like collective beliefs. They're, um, you know, when you were a child, you were told you have to work hard for money. Um, you won't amount to anything unless you get a good job. Um, all those things that you were told as a child that you didn't question because you were too young to question them. You And they were coming from authority, so you believed them, are there. And also things that happened to you that you felt abandoned or you felt neglected or um, 
sad about as a child and you your mind made that event into a story and then you believed it completely normal and natural from the place of a body mind and emotional being but from the place of wisdom awareness in which everything is you can see that it's not who you are it's just who you think you are um so people who haven't realized their true nature are very easily through no fault of their own believing that they're that separate person and all the world is doing all of this to me um in fact a lot of the things it's doing to you that it seems it's doing to you it's showing you those subconscious beliefs over and over again and the way that you can see clearly those subconscious beliefs because when they're acting out it's almost as if you're blinded by them they take you over and I completely understand that um, there's no blame there's nothing it's it's just what is happening in that moment um, so practicing presence um, even if it's not your direct experience yet I think most people because it is who you are it's just a separate person doesn't think they are that but if that separate person tunes into their true nature which they can do everybody can do because you are it it's a matter of just dropping the identification and just resting as your true self and it's whatever works for you. So it's finding your um, thing, I suppose. Um, I am going to look back to see what I did. I listened to people like Eckhart Tolle was very good for me at taking... Obviously, he teaches the power of now. And rich, really, um, it's the power of presence. It's the power of who you are. Oh, my God, it's so gorgeous. Sorry. <laughs> The power of who you are, the power of your true nature, is just beautiful. It's worth waking up for. Because it's wordless. So... Find what works for you that gives you that presence power, that power of now, that power of who you truly are, that guiding place to your truth. Find that for yourself. Whether it's videos when I do them on presence, I guess that's why I'm doing them. I don't know what I'm doing. I just turn up and talk. But there seems to be, for me, I enjoy sitting in presence and speaking from presence and showing people presence. Um, so it's finding your way into presence. And the more you rest in presence, the more you're able to see who you're not. And I'll continue to make videos on presence. <laughs> If they work for you, if they don't, then, you know, just find what works for you. What takes you to that expanded place, that boundless, that, it's, it's like joy in your heart. It's freedom, um, no mind. It's it just feels so natural because it is your true nature. So if any videos that you can watch that take you to that, just watch them over and over again until they stop working and then try a different one. Different people work for different people. Muji's lovely. He's very heart-centred. Um, you know, sometimes the pointings can be a bit active and that's good. There's different things for different times. Sometimes you need to know who you're not and sometimes you just have to rest as who you are. So... 
I'd highly recommend resting as who you are. So getting to your true nature and spending as much time as you can there because it just gives you that distance to be able to see those subconscious beliefs when they rise up. And I think you'll probably find the more you rest as your true nature, the more it'll be revealed. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.